taking care of business? Yeah, we we, uh, we started the game really well and, and, and defended really well for the most part. So just a good win against a good team. And you guys only had five turnovers. What was the key to that? Oh, we just um, played with patience tonight. Uh, uh, Alabama's a really physical team, so we just had to play with poise and play with patience. And uh, Andrew and Tyler did a great job of running us tonight. This is the second game where you played a team that you handled pretty easily the first time that took care of business the second time. I mean, what, what's the key to that to make maintaining your focus when you've already played a team that you've already beaten? Um, you just have to know that people are coming to coming to play hard and. Uh, um, just got to be ready for it, for for everything, and uh, we're ready tonight. What kind of buff did you get from the big guys tonight? Their, you know, interior school. Um, Carl played, started off the game and uh, really, really well, and uh, of course the car had a big second half as well. So we just played. Th we had to play through those guys tonight, and, and it worked. So kind of a concerted effort to yeah. do that going in. Definitely. What about Devin? Devin. And Maybe an off night the other night and got it going again tonight. Devin's a, Devin's a great shooter, and uh, if you just give him some space, he's going to knock it down. So. I mean, you try not to do it again so you don't get pulled out. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, that's something I've always been stressing about. So right when I do it, I kind of know it's coming. So you just try not to do it again as and do it as least as possible. Offensively, you seem a bit more comfortable than a year ago. Is that accurate? Uh, yeah, that's definitely ac accurate. Uh, I mean, every every year, every game, you gotta get comfortable with what you're doing. You gotta start figuring things out. You guys are shooting almost 60 percent and only turn the ball over five times. How tough is it to lose? I mean, you guys be beaten when you guys are shooting over 60. I mean, anybody can be beaten any any day of the week. It's just the way the the world's turning that day, I guess. I don't know. That's a weird question. Are you aware that you all are the only undefeated team left in college basketball? No, I am. Thanks for telling me. <laughs> you didn't see it in the locker room or anything like that? No, we don't, we don't have TVs in the locker room, so. You got uh, cell phones. Yeah, but I got to look it up. That's, that's, a whole lot of, that's a whole lot of work. I'm just trying to get undressed and dressed as quick as possible. What does that mean for you that you all are the last unbeaten? Um, I mean, it means nothing until the very last game because we can go undefeated the whole way and just lose one. So being undefeated really means nothing. Carl, I know rebounds at the half. Was there just not many opportunities out there? What was going on with that? Uh, I don't even know either. <laughs> uh, you know, it's just uh, I guess we must have been doing something right. We were making a lot of shots. <laughs> There's not much to go get. But uh, we did a lot of great things. I mean, defensively, we rebounding-wise, we – we just had to uh, be better def uh, rebounders today, but uh, it doesn't hurt that we came out with a W with the amount of rebounds we had today. Another Coach said that he thought you this could have been a 25.8 rebound game for you. Uh, <coughs> what do you think of that? I'm just glad I, it ended with us having a W. That's really all that matters to me. Another 10 plus point W for you guys seems to be a thing for you going this whole season for you guys. Can you put it in perspective what it means? All it means that we're doing, we're executing on defense, we're playing the way Kentucky basketball, and we feel we play and we excel at. Uh, defensively, it makes our offense. Uh, today, we did a great, way better job in half court offense, and defensively, we did what we were supposed to do, and we did a great job with that. Carl, for you personally, how close do you feel like you are to what you can be offensively? You know, it's it's never about how close it matters; it's about consistency. Uh, you got to do this every day. Um, and, you know, for me, I just feel that if I keep uh, growing as a player, not only can I be where I feel I could be offensively, I could be where I want to be defensively and mentally. And that's the biggest thing. It's about having all aspects of the game come. Is it frustrating at all, though, when you get off to such a great start like that and then foul troubles and a couple of little things and you don't have maybe the game you thought you were going to have to start? Uh, you know, for me, it's – yeah, of course it's going to be uh, – it's going to be a little upsetting to know that, you know, second half is, is not going the first the way the first half is. But the greatest thing about it is that you're not worried about what, you know, you're not worried about the other person coming in and ruining what you have. It's going to do just as good or even better. Uh, I have such a great team. I have great brothers, you know. Uh, they're always going to pick up. We're always going to pick up for each other. And that's the greatest thing about this team is that if one person falls flat, the other one stands tall. With that said, like, 
Cal has said you guys have a lot of room to improve offensively. Do you, you think you can play a part there? Oh, definitely. Uh, it's 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 a team effort, and definitely for me, I have to improve offensively so I can continue giving this team the best chance to win. And from my aspect, you know, just trying to be the best player I could be to help my brothers. Um, at any time, I could do what I need to do, whatever I need to do for my brothers. You know, I'm down to do it at a given, you know, as a blink of an eye. Uh, for me, I'm just going to continue improving my game, improving my mentality defensively, and I'm going to just keep improving so this team could, uh, I could give this team the best possible ways of winning.